uh, this policy was put in effect before I got here, and the genesis of this was out of something called the Budget Control Act, which was an attempt to get Democrats and Republicans in the United States House and the United States Senate to actually work together to have to develop a plan for our long-term fiscal sustainability. And the idea was to put sequestration in as this poison pill to force them to come to some accommodation. And it was meant to be so unappealing and so non-strategic that Congress would be forced to act. And instead, Congress swallowed the poison pill, which in my view is completely irrational. Um, I actually believe sequestration is a Latin word meaning dumb. When you face difficult financial troubles in your own family, you don't say, well, we're going to cut everything by the same percentage across the board. You wouldn't say everything's going to get a 12% cut. We're going to cut our mortgage payment by 12%, and we're going to cut our food budget by 12%, we're going to cut the movie going budget by 12%. You wouldn't do that because that's dumb, right? You, you, we don't do that. You would say, no, we're going to prioritize. We're going to keep the roof over our heads. We're going to make sure the kids get to eat, but maybe we're not going to go see the new Star Trek movie, and you know we're going to cancel our Sports Illustrated, but not our Mason County Journal because um, they're in the room. Uh, you know, but you know, you 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 prioritize. Unfortunately, that is not the policy that Congress is undertaking through this sequestration. I think Congress ought to pass a budget. Um, it has been too long since Congress has passed a budget, and. That creates uncertainty, certainly for federal agencies who have, and as a consequence, they will confess that they make less strategic decisions because they're operating without a budget. But two, it creates uncertainty in the private industry and in the private sector as well. I feel so strongly about this that uh, earlier this year, I voted for something that had a very, a proposal that had a very simple concept. It was a proposal that was called No Budget, No Pay. And it worked on this premise. If Congress doesn't pass a budget, members of Congress should not get paid. Yes. Um, yes. yes. And, and, and I will tell you, uh, part of the reason I, and I was among a minority of Democrats who supported that proposal, but the reason I supported it was very simple. I have never in my professional life gotten paid for a job that did not get done. And neither should Congress. Congress ought to pass a budget and, and get things moving again. And stop with the kind of partisan bickering and actually focus on what serves the interest of our country.